In this clip, Kent Beck speaks on the biggest problem with code reviews and the best way to deal with it. The problem with code reviews is they're blocking and synchronous. Both of those things together mean that they're very, very expensive. I do something, I'm waiting for you to review it. How long is that gonna take? I don't know, I have no control. Our incentives aren't aligned. I want it to be reviewed well and quickly. You want it to be reviewed with as little effort as possible whenever it fits into your schedule. Already we're, we're not in, in great alignment, but that doesn't mean that we don't need the shared understanding of what's changing about the system. And so I came up and this is another thought experiment. I don't have an implemented system, but I know it would work if it if I implemented it, it's called code feed. And this is like, this is like the news feed, Facebook news feed, except the stories are changes to the system. So if there's some part of the system that I might be interested in, it'll give me a very aggregated story about that changing. So I can just go in, look at code feed, and it'll say, here's interesting things that have changed about the system. Some of the changes will be very, very fine grained. Okay, this function that you're editing, somebody else is editing it right now, or this ch change you made, somebody else changed it back. You need to talk to them. But if I just had this ticker of what's changing about the system that I might be interested in, coupled with the machine learning magic fairy dust that made that ticker more and more engaging for me over time, then I have this situational awareness of what's changing in the system without the need for blocking kind of code reviews. While a system like code feed is not an option for most developers, we don't have to settle for sporadic and unpredictable reviews. Code review is an umbrella term that covers a range of tasks, like bug finding, architectural assessment, code cleanliness, and understanding how the new changes fit within the current system. And according to this paper, the most time-consuming part of code review isn't bug detection or code quality checks as one might assume. It's simply trying to understand the code change. And that's important. In the absence of an ideal non-blocking review system, the next best thing is a disciplined effort to make the code as easy to understand as possible. And this includes, as cliché as it may sound, applying solid coding practices, writing meaningful documentation, and prioritizing readability. The easier your code is to comprehend, the less time others spend deciphering it, and the closer we get to effective asynchronous collaboration, even without the perfect tooling. Thoughts? Subscribe for more.